the curve, pick on the surface second, and uh, indicate a direction. Ideally, I'd go along the uh, axis indicated here. So if I click the Z axis, I can go ahead and preview. Looking really good. I'll hit OK. As you can see, it produces that curve right on that surface when before it didn't. So a very nicely placed uh, projection curve that can, can become very useful uh, later on wh while I'm working on this design. I can use it for trimming purposes or whatever. Uh, it's right on the surface. It's lying on right on top of it. So that can be a, a really useful tool for us. Um, another interesting tool is called the reflect line curve. Uh, not uh, used frequently, but it's quite powerful actually. If you click on the reflect line icon again and uh, hit F1, um, my help system is coming up on my other screen. Uh, I'll just open up the sample file and then you'll be able to see it. So I'll hit OK. And uh, there it is. So uh, as you can see, there's an organic shape here and a simple cylinder. So if I zoom closer, I am able to click on the icon, uh, pick on the surface in question, uh, pick an origin. They've uh, provided us with that here. It's just a, a simple line with an endpoint. And if I preview, you're actually able to produce a uh, curve. As you can see, it's building itself quite nicely. If I increase the angle, it will oddly uh, reduce uh, the size of it. Uh, if I reverse that and make it wider, so as you can see, it's getting larger and larger. Uh, so let's just say I want to bring it down to 115. I'm happy with these results. Of course, there are limits to what you can do. Uh, so I'll bring it back, preview that, looking good. I'll hit OK. It produces that curve right onto that surface again. So it, it can be really useful. We'll discuss more about trimming and modifying surfaces, but I can easily go here, uh, click on uh, Split. This uh, surface here using what? Using this curve here. And you can just basically preview the result, hit OK, and the computer is, is able to split that and keep only that result here. So um, this can be one of the applications for uh, using this tool. Um, I would imagine people that use molding a lot would use it because they need to split their objects and create the cores and the cavities. So that can be uh, a tool that uh, can be utilized. Um, another tool that uh, is available is the intersection tool. So if I click on this guy here and also go ahead and hit F1 on the keyboard while I'm in the command. It launches the help system. I'll uh, open up the sample file. Again, if you have that help system loaded, you can benefit from this uh, feature. So here we are looking at two surfaces that are intersecting one another. Uh, if I hide the surfaces, you'll see that there's nothing there right now. Uh, let me undo and bring them back. So once I have these two surfaces, I'd like to intersect them and 